After School All-Stars. I'm Coach Trevor over at Jarrett Middle School, and we're here with another episode at Stay At Home Blues and Oranges. But before we hop into the drill, just like in practice, we need to warm up and get everything loose. So the very first thing we're gonna do is a knee pull. For this one, all you're gonna do is take your knee and pull to your chest. Don't worry if you have bad balance like me. Just try your best to hold it for 30 seconds. Once you're done with one leg, we're gonna move to the other leg. For this one, you feel the stretch on the back of your leg or your hamstring. Next one we're gonna do is called a flamingo. So for this one, all you're gonna do is take your leg, grab your ankle like this, drill or you could call it the layout drill if you want and I feel like it's a really important drill for especially beginners because it helps you learn how to take off on a layup with your left and your right hand and also helps your touch around the rim. So first we're gonna go over your feet placement. So for feet placement it's gonna depend on if you're left-handed or right-handed. If you're a lefty like me you're always gonna take off on your right side. So when you go into your layup you're going to take a step with your left, take a step with your right, and then you're going to jump, bring your knee as high as you can to get that extra lift. So this is how it looks in real time. If you're right-handed, same thing, but opposite. You're going to step with your right, step with your left, bring that knee up as high as you can to get the extra lift, and then go for a lift. Just like that. All right, so next we're gonna talk about hand placement on the ball. When you first start your layup, both hands are gonna be on the ball. You don't wanna hold it with your palms, you wanna hold it with your fingertips and hold it nice and strong because you're gonna have defenders smacking at the ball. Once you go up, your off hand can come off the ball, but keep it up to shield any defenders away. You're gonna go up with your main hand. All right, so now we're gonna put it all together. Remember, 10 on each hand. Don't worry if you miss any. Just keep the tempo up while you're rebounding. So before we get into the actual drill, I'm gonna have you guys practice taking off of each foot.
Last one. Keep going. Okay. So next, we're going to practice lofting the ball up with our fingertips. Remember, you don't want our palms on the ball. It's all fingertips. So this is going to help your control and getting power and kind of gauging how much power you need to get it as high as you want on the back. So for this, we're going to do uh, five sets of five. So we're going to start at the lowest level, just like that. And you're going to go progressively higher until you get the back to the back. Each time you are catching with your fingertips and throwing it up with your fingertips. No palm involved. So, five sets of five. You ready? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. If you're a little too short, you can also use a wall where you can fully extend. And if your hands are too small for a regular basketball, you can use a girls basketball, which is a little bit smaller, or even a volleyball. So that's it for today's lesson. The three main things I want you guys to remember is fingertips on the ball, what foot you're taking off of, and aim for the backboard. Other than that, make sure you guys drink plenty of water when you do these drills. And if you have to go out your house to court or a nearby school, make sure you ask your parents first. Besides that, thank you. I'm Coach Trevor from Jarrett Middle School, and this is it for this episode at Stay at Home Blues and Oranges. Thank you. Mm -hmm.